Have you ever wanted to figure out what was the best sitcom ever made? Well, look no further, because I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna tell you the best of the best and the fucking complete dog shit that is all the sitcoms ever created. All right, first up, we got Big Bang Theory, one of the greatest sitcoms ever made. I mean, just fucking, just take a look at this clip and tell me this isn't the funniest shit ever. My mom died. Truly cementing itself as one of the greatest of all time. Malcolm in the Middle, an all-time classic, except I've never seen that show, but I have seen um, Stuck in the Middle. That's basically the same show, right? Uh, Full House, yeah, I can never watch this show. There's too many people in it, and there's that guy named Jesse, uh, so uh, actually the show's kind of pretty bad. It's a stupid fucking name. Everybody hates Chris, you know, despite every fact everyone hates him. This show was bomb as fuck, um, except for the last episode where they were clearly ripping off of The Sopranos. I mean, as you can see right here, it's a one-to-one -one recreation. So uh, because they ripped off The Sopranos, this is one of the worst shows I've ever seen in my entire life. The King of Queens, all-time classic. I mean, this one scene alone, one of the final episodes, like easily sold me that this is probably one of the best of all time that's when it takes a leap of faith to keep going and you didn't i can never forget that i mean let, let's all be honest he's the better actor than william shatner for crying out loud the george lopez show you know what i think everyone has the same exact memory of waking up at 3 25 in the morning and for some fucking reason George Lopez is always on. We've we've all seen at least two episodes of the show, but we still don't know anything that happens in the fucking show. This show sucks. Brooklyn Nine Nine, not to be confused with it's always sunny in Philadelphia. You know that's a common misconception, but uh, it's always sunny. That's a pretty funny show. Here's one of my favorite moments. Fools. Everybody loves Raymond, the famous sequel to Everybody Hates Chris. But fun fact, this is actually where uh, Kojima got his inspiration for a lot of the writing for Death Stranding. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. You know, for a show called How I Met Your Mother, they don't actually say how he met his mother, so the show, it's dumb. Two and a Half Men, arguably the top three funniest TV shows of all time. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a minute. Cut the music, cut the music. Wait, wait. <sighs> Fuller Hat, wait a minute, wasn't this just on the list earlier? Ah, the Big Show show, all time classic. I remember that show first came out in the ripe year of, I think, 2000 and zero. You know, personally, I think Friends is overrated, but the best part of that show was like the little, little scene transitions. You remember how it goes, Man, yeah, that was the best part of the show. Ah, well, I th think that was all of them. I'm trying to think. Is there more? Oh, duh. How could I have forgotten the most important one there? Fred the Show. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant.